This is sentence stalking, where we will look at one mentor sentence from a popular middle school fiction book and five focus questions to go along with that sentence. You can answer the focus questions through writing them down with a paper and pencil, through thinking them through in your head, or through speaking out the answers to someone in your home, or if you call a friend on the phone, you could, you could work it out with a friend on the phone as well. Today's mentor sentence comes from A Long Walk to Water by Linda Sue Park on page two. He owned many head of cattle and worked as their village's judge, an honored, respected position. So the main character, Salva, is referencing his dad in this sentence. And we are going to just take a look at a few different parts of it. Number one, what part of speech is the word he and why? So thinking about our parts of speech, which part of speech is he and how do you know? Number two, why is there used instead of there or there? So there is one of those commonly confused homophones. So looking at T-H-E-I-R, why is that form of there used versus the other forms of there? Number three, why is there an apostrophe in villages? So we know that there are a couple of reasons that writers use apostrophes. Writers use apostrophes to show possession. Writers also use apostrophes in contractions. So in this case, why is the apostrophe there? Number four, what is the pronunciation or what is the punctuation after judge called and what is its purpose? So there is a punctuation mark after judge. What is it called and what is its purpose? Number five, why is there a comma after honored? So there are several reasons that writers use commas. What is the reason that Linda Sue Park used a comma in this sentence between honored and respected? This is the time where you're going to pause the video and either write down, think about, or talk through the answers to these questions, the focus questions for today's mentor sentence. Join me when you're ready to go over the answers. Okay, debriefing the answers to today's focus questions. Number one, the focus question, what part of speech is the word he and why? So he is a pronoun, which is a, also known as a personal pronoun because it is used to replace the name of a specific person. Number two, why is there used instead of there or there? So there, T-H-E-I-R, is used to show that he is the village's judge. There is the possessive form of the homophones, there, there, and there. So we use the T-H-E-I-R form of there whenever it has anything to do with showing possession. Number three, why is there an apostrophe in villages? So once again, I told you there's two reasons that writers use apostrophes. One is to show possession and one is to use in contractions, which are two words that you join together to make one word like that's, it's, don't, those type of words. Um, in this case, the apostrophe is placed in villages to show possession because he is the village's judge. Number four, what is the punctuation after judge called and what is its purpose? We're gonna go take a look at the reference sheet for this one. So the punctuation reference sheet, there is two pieces of punctuation that look like that, a dash and a hyphen. We're gonna look at the meaning for a dash. So the two purposes that writers use dashes in dialogue to show an interrupted or unfinished sentence before and after extra, extra interrupting information within a sentence. So let's go back into the sentence to see if a dash fits the definition. So it is in fact a dash. The dash is used to insert extra information at the end of the sentence. So in this case, the author gave more specific information about what it means to be the village's judge. It is an honored, respected position. I think I know it's extra information because the sentence could have a period after judge and still make complete sense, but the author chose to add that extra information on. And our last question for today, why is there a comma after honored? 
So once again, let's go back and examine one of our rules for why authors use commas. And I want us to look specifically today at this rule to separate two coordinate adjectives that describe the same noun. And the example here is the horse's silky soft mane was fun to brush. So the adjectives silky and soft both describe the noun mane. So we put a comma to separate those two coordinate adjectives. And let's go back to our mentor sentence today to see if that comma rule also fits. So there's a comma after honor to separate two coordinate adjectives that describe the same noun. Honored and respected are adjectives that both describe the noun position. So we know we have to put the comma in between the two. Okay, so let's debrief our sentence docking experience today. Um, let's use number three to help us debrief. What is one question you got wrong today and what do you now understand about the answer to the question? So if there's one of these that you didn't get the correct answer for, what one is that and what do you now understand that would help you get the correct answer? Go ahead and think about that. And then this is also a great time to pause the video if you want to extend your learning a little bit further and use the sentence docking extension menu and pick an option to extend what we did together today.